Okay, so he's not the bravest. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Like interrupting or just so even there, just supporting him to slow down. And I'm going to be really aware of my breath as well and just hold space for him just to say, hey, you're okay. The whole time, can we stand and relax? So little interrupts, redirects, and just be really aware that I'm holding space for him. If he needs to move his feet, I will, but I also will say, hey, do you think you could perhaps try and relax? So I'm not asking big things of him because that would just be too hard right now. Because I'm trying to get him in the, uh, the state of the learning state and the state of relaxation. <sighs> so really aware of our, our breathing. <sighs> Come back. But I'm going to interrupt the negative patterns and support the positive patterns. Not there. There. Okay. We're so going off your intention, which is your thought clear, because you're having a conversation. So even if you need to say it out loud, I'm, saying, I'm asking a question. Okay. And then I release the pressure at the right time. Positive response to pressure, which is conversation. The melting feeling, that's connection. He's got to understand this is my way of communicating with him. And we're wanting to establish trust and confidence using approach and retreat. And it's the retreat that actually builds the confidence. If the horse gets worried about it and you stop, you've just rewarded that thought. So the feel's not there and the timing's not there. And then that creates confusion and anxiety. He went over it, but he's not okay about it. So I'd like him to slow down and actually investigate it. So he goes, oh, I can go over the bridge, but I'm going to pretend it didn't happen. But they're not engaged. Remember, if you want them in the learning state, they've got to be engaged and or relaxed. So I'm got, he's starting to go, oh, so you, I've got to actually stay in the conversation. Yes, slow down, don't have to walk. I want you to touch it, buddy. 